Lisa. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you guys have had a great week. I've seen lots of videos of you guys practicing your memory verses and showing me all the great artwork that you've done. Let's review our memory verse from last week. It's Psalm 56, verse 3. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. What was that? Whoa, it was the sound of a shofar. Have you ever seen one of these before? It's kind of like a trumpet, but it doesn't work like a trumpet. It can make a really loud noise. I'm gonna try it out, ready? So a shofar is made from the horn of a ram. It has to be hollowed out on the inside, and then you can blow through it to make a really loud noise. Back in Bible times, they used a shofar to send signals, to announce a special occasion, to even call an army to battle. It was so loud, people could hear it far and wide. In today's story, we're gonna hear a shofar, and we're also gonna see something amazing that God did for the people of Israel. Hey guys, today's Bible story is about Joshua and the battle for the city of Jericho. Remember, God's people, the Israelites, were in Egypt and God led them out to be free. He led them to the Red Sea. And what did God do? He parted the waters. And now Joshua is the leader of the Israelites and he's gonna lead them into the promised land. But they don't have the promised land quite yet because God told them to take the city of Jericho. But the city of Jericho was surrounded by a really tall wall and it was strong how are they gonna get through? Do you think the Israelites could dig a tunnel under the wall? Do you think the Israelites might use ladders to try and get over the wall? What about breaking through the wall, trying to drill holes or pick holes in the wall? What if they used a catapult? Or maybe the Israelites were going to try to use tricks to trick the people of Jericho into opening the gate. They weren't going to get in this wall the usual way, but God sent the commander of his own army to show Joshua that he was in control, that God would be the one leading in them in battle. And God gave Joshua specific instructions on what he should do. So on the first day, what did they do? They marched around the wall one time, around the whole city. On the second day, they marched around the city one time. They did that same thing every day for six days. But on the seventh day, God said, walk around the city seven times. And on the seventh time, you are to blow the trumpets, the shofars really loud. And when the people gave a loud shout, the wall came tumbling down. God had given them victory over the city of Jericho. The plan to take the city of Jericho was not a plan that an army would normally use, but remember, God is in control, and God had a plan for Joshua and the Israelites to take the city of Jericho. Sometimes we might get confused or wonder why God has us go through something or do a certain thing. We might be puzzled by that, but Joshua and the Israelites might have been confused as well. God asked them to march around the city, and they marched and marched, and they didn't see God doing anything, but they obeyed. And on the last day, when they marched around the city seven times, and they blew the shofar, and they gave a loud shout, God made the walls fall down. Let's look at Joshua 1, 9. God says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. We know that we can trust God's word. And when God says he's going to be with us, he will. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope that this week you will put your trust in God, the one who's always with you, no matter what. Let's pray to end our time together. Dear God, thank you so much that we can put our trust in you. Just like Joshua led the people of Israel 
around the city of Jericho because he trusted God and he knew God would do what he said he would do. Please help us to know that we can put our trust in you, God, because you will do what you say you will do. Thank you for helping us to be strong and courageous and to know that you are with us wherever we go. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the kids said, amen. Amen.